blood, sweat, and tears in Indy. Hey everybody, Walty Wanders, buckle up, strap in. I got a hard-hitting pull, no punches, no sugar coating, no rainbows, no sunshine. I'm just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage today. Blood, sweat, and even a few tears in Indy. A barn burner finally took midway through the season, but we finally got the race. We've been all waiting for Drama unfolds, storylines develop, it all played out in Indy. So we'll go ahead and just unpackage a little bit of what happened and hopefully do some more coverage throughout the week. But before we get started, let me politely ask you, to, if you're new, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below. We would absolutely love to have you. Moto Iron will continue to sharpen Moto Iron as we blow the lid off the moto industry. One story, one race at a time. But the reality is, our friends, we got to start off with, uh, you know, who won the race? Kickstart Kenny pulls it off. And listen, even me, probably one of his biggest critics, even possibly the guy that coined, coined him, Kickstart Kenny, very early on. I thought that was a, a killer win for Kickstart. I was halfway cheering for Barsha <laughs> to go run him down and take it from him. But the other half of me was like, no, I got to see this guy win. He's been through a lot. He deserves it. And I really, I think where it really, like after the race, when he fell, to, fell down on his bike and was clearly extra pumped. Like we, like we learned or like we know, he hasn't won for a, about a year ago at A1 on his HRC Honda that kicked him to the curb. He has not won a race. I did not know if we would see Kenny win another race. I knew this was big. I knew this is huge. This was massive. To see the emotions was very nice and to see the way he handled it on the podium. Holding up that kickstart. He played it for everything he it was worth saying, dude, this is punk rock. I got my kickstart right here, and we did it. Chances are next year we'll probably see that bike with an electric start. We'll see. I'm not sure what Kenny's plans are for next year. I don't know if he's back with the team, but this is very, very big. We could see Kenny like we, if he gets a start, but I believe there was a lot of variables that played into Kenny's hand. This might be his only win this season, but hats off to the guy regardless if he wins again or not that was very very cool to see and I have to say Barsha hats off to you too you looked great all night I thought this was possibly your night but it, it, in a way it kind of was because I mean you were right there that second almost felt like a win you gave the fans what what we wanted to see which is unlike the 250 race somebody's getting out front and checking out a race. It was a race, a dogfight, a showdown at the OK Crowd. The whole whole race. And I loved Barsha's. I loved seeing him congratulate Kenny. I liked seeing everybody congratulate Kenny after a race. All the riders came and and gave the dude a hug. I think that was super cool. But I thought it was hilarious when Barsha on the podium and they asked him about his battle with Kickstart. He's like, Yeah, dude. He's like, I almost told my guys to go pull the battery out of my out of my bike so I could bring it up here on the podium and show it off too. I thought that was just very cool, you know, quick thinking on how, how to be quick on your feet and be able to offer some something other than the standard. I want to thank Red Bull KTM and my sponsors and Bell Helmets and this and that. I love when we see real dudes giving real talk. That was just totally awesome. Now, moving on down, Cooper Webb. I thought he did a great job. Like I, he should have said, and what somebody should have said on the on the coverage to, tonight was, "You win your championships on your bad days," and that's exactly what Cooper Webb did. He had a, by his standards, by anybody else, a good night, but by his standards, not the best night. He was not the fastest guy on the track. He had an opportunity to win. He didn't have anything for Kickstart. He didn't have anything for Bam Bam. But what he did have was a better finish than Eli. And so Cooper Webb won, is now in holding the red plate on a bad night. You win your championships on your bad days. And that's when you suit up and show up, my friends. That's what we always, I always say here, man. I want to see you win on the track and off the track. We win our championships on our bad days. 
We're all going to have bad days. It's all about making, don't let your highs get too high and your lows get too low. Just sometimes you just got to bring it on in to the finish line and do the best you can. So that clearly paid off. Very strategic play for Cooper Webb. I think we've got a barn burner on our hands now. Four winners uh, already this series. It's going to be good. I I reported, I believe this Season will be historic on many, many levels, on and off the track. We got some stuff. Contract year for a bunch of riders. Anderson, Cooper Webb, Sexton, a bunch of guys. Now, Eli, uh, we got to touch on Eli real quick. Eli looked horrible. Something's going on. And is it kind of odd or it, don't you feel it's kind of odd? Leave it in the comments below. He signs his extension with Star Racing to go outdoors this year. Probably because Super Motocross Series is throwing some money at this at well, as well. This whole Super Motocross Series is just trying to keep guys under wraps. But for whatever reason, as soon, as soon as Eli signs this extension with Star Racing, he's had bad races. And I kind of thought, like, he looked off all day, but you can't really... You can't really put too much weight on that because he's done that before and came out and won the main. I thought there was a good chance we'd see that again. He got passed by Christian Craig at the at the end of the race and just dropped anchor. He looked off. We, the jury's a little out. Now, he could bounce back next weekend, but something's clearly off with Eli. But I'm kind of pumped about this. I was actually super pumped to see Eli have a bad race because I didn't want to see a runaway championship I wanted to see this thing come down to the end, and it's shaping up. And speaking of that, my goodness, you, Honda, Sexton, it's over. It is over for you guys. You can still come back and win this championship, but something's going on over at Honda. And I don't know if it's Sexton. I don't know if it's the bike, but Colt, Colt Nichols, he ain't out there anymore. Something's something's up. Just something's up over at Honda. And like we've all, like we all know, the 250 seems to be fine. Those Lawrence brothers, they're the, they're they're the future of Honda. They've got all their eggs in the Lawrence, and they've rolled the dice before. They've spent more money than anybody out there to get a championship. They've yet to do it in the premier class in many many years. But something's up with our boy Sexton. Is something ain't right that dude just no matter what all by himself he keeps finding the dirt he keeps going down all by himself so it's one thing if you see somebody take you out or you're bar to bar or you get it you know get sketchy but he keeps throwing it away all alone and sexton's always continuously the fastest guy on the track if he can keep it on two wheels there's a good chance he's winning he's his own Worst enemy at the moment. And I i mean, there was reports during the race that the bike is fidgety. And it's kind of looking like maybe that's the case. I don't know why Colt Nichols isn't out there. Bad deal for Colt Nichols. He gets the shot of a lifetime to ride factory equipment in the premier class. The bike's clearly good. But if Kickstart Kenny can win on the Suzuki that hasn't won in seven years and the last time it won, it was him in 2016, you would think. That some, like, somebody could win on this Honda. Apparently, it ain't happening. So, we'll just have to wait and see. Maybe come outdoors if Jetson's able to finally bring it home for, for Honda, man. Dude, this stuff, you can't, even, you can't even dream this stuff up. It's insane. It's like living in an episode of The Twilight Zone. In final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a moto guy. If somebody wants to see you not, not only win on the track, off the track we got a barn burner on our hands this this year buckle up and strap in as we examine it read between the lines look between the cracks blow the lid off it when possible because it's not only what we need it's in fact what we deserve if you appreciate the content i want to humbly ask you to give the video a like subscribe to the channel leave a comment below i'd love to hear from you social media links in the description of this video if you'd like to contact me there and if you enjoyed this video i know you're going to love the next video on your screen as always, thank you for your time. Don't go over the bars today. I will see you on the next video.